hello everyone this is uh, a simple uh, demo of lamp stack deployment using uh, hashicorp tools uh, atlas vagrant uh, packer and terraform uh, so currently i am in the uh, vagrant directory so this has two files which is a vagrant file and the script.sh the script.sh gets invoked from uh, the vagrant file so if you look at the script.sh so this basically contains the instructions for installing apache mysql and uh, php so now if you look at the uh, packer directory uh, this has this uh, lamp.json file which is used for building the uh, you know the packer images so here we have one builder which is of you know amazon aws one more which is of google compute and in the provisioning section we have uh, the different uh, software that needs to be installed for the LAMP stack and in the post processor we have two post processors one for Amazon image and another for Google compute image both these images will get pushed to uh, Atlas and if you look at what is inside the Terraform uh, so we have uh, three files here main TF uh, outputs and uh, the variables so if you look at the uh, main.tf so the, f the first part of it uh, contains you know the variables so this part specifies you know how do we create the security group itself and here we specify the key pair and so this is the atlas artifact which is basically the image that we push from packer we want to automatically have terraform pick this particular image and this is basically the ec2 instance configuration and here we have specified uh, the AMI type to be used from the Atlas artifact. So currently I'm in the Atlas GUI. So here I have already logged in as me. And uh, so I am currently in the uh, uh, artifacts section. So here this is basically my Packer image that I have pushed here. There are already three versions that I have created here. And uh, if you go to the uh, environments section here, so this is pretty much the the deployment project that I have already pushed using uh, Terraform. I have done multiple runs of it. So basically this shows the history. The one thing I wanted to show here is in the settings page. Uh, so here, okay, so this is basically my project AWS LAMP and this is a private project. And these are the two options I have checked in. The first one, plan on artifact uploads. So basically this uh, triggers that whenever a new artifact is pushed from Packer, it's going to trigger a new Terraform deploy. And this auto apply option is going to control that uh, the apply of the Terraform is going to happen automatically as soon as the, the planned part is complete. Okay, so first what we'll do now is we will trigger the, uh, the Packer build itself. So this is the command that I'm using to uh, build an a Amazon EBS image alone so in, because this packer file has both Amazon and Google so in this case we are going to uh, trigger only the Amazon image so this is going to take some time so basically it's going to run through the pr uh, builder part the provisioning part as well as the post processor part and finally it's going to push the image to Atlas uh, so I had paused this video because it takes, you know, quite a bit of time, around five to seven minutes to finish this uh, uh, process. Basically, now the image has been created. So basically, it created this Amazon AMI. And since we specify the type as Atlas, it's going to upload this uh, Amazon AMI image to Atlas. And it's going to be available here, available here as uh, the, the name that we have specified here so now if you go back to atlas and so this was artifact version 3 now if we reload this we should see the new artifact version 4 that has been uploaded and this was created like a minute back and now because of this new artifact upload uh, the new build is going to be automatically started so here it says triggered after upload of the artifact number 4 and now it's going to automatically apply the infrastructure so now if we click here uh, we can show the plan here and it had already said that you know this is what it is going to do it's going to create a new instance it's going to create a new keypad new security group and now it is applying the infrastructure and it tells you know uh, you know the details of all the infrastructure that is that it is crea getting created in the meantime if we go to the AWS instance uh, we should be able to see that the new instance has been started on AWS yeah it is in pending state 
let's go back to atlas here at the end of it it's going to output as the ip address of the instance that we have you know created because we have specified that in the outputs file let's wait for a minute for that okay now the terraform apply is successful now and we can see this is the instance ip that it has created so just to check that if it is working so let's go back here and we can curl on this ip address and uh, that has you know it shows the apache web page that has been created here uh, so you know everything has been successful till now and now if we go back to the changes page uh, so we should be able to see that the plan and apply has been uh, successful that's what it says here now to clean up the artifact you know there are multiple options the option that i choose is go back to settings and i can say queue the destroy plan and uh, so that is pretty much going to uh, you know queue up the destroy uh, destroy this terraform infrastructure that uh, we have created so it's going to clean up everything that we have started on aws if you go to the changes we should see that uh, the job is queued and it is currently in planning phase uh, after the planning phase it's going to go and destroy the infrastructure uh, so this basically this video uh, gives the complete flow uh, how we can use the HashiCorp tools from development uh, and to you know production where we can you know deploy uh, it on a you know live infrastructure. Thanks for watching.